Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Friends I have this Xbox 360 power supply It is inoperative It have no light No voltage here uh, as well No voltage And we don't have any SB voltage No power output And LED not enabled and if we check input voltage that is 115 volt to open it we have to remove these screw covers remove these four screws now I removed the screws Wonderful. It is opened. Just only remove this connector. Now it is separated. And we can see we have a burning sign here. We have a smoke here. So that means something is wrong here. So this component which is close to these capacitor marks here and here between these capacitors this component is damaged and we will check it now carefully lift it up remove this shielding it have solder here and it have solder here we have to remove this soldering just only heat it up and lift it up heat up and remove it now we can check it without applying power first of all we have to check safety check set multimeter to DC voltage and check voltage across these two bulk capacitors these two main capacitors so this point and this two so it is zero volt that means the capacitors are empty discharged if there are voltage we have to discharge them otherwise it is a very risk of electrical shock now set multimeter to continuity to perform cold testing this fuse we have to verify the fuse it is our initial test so fuse is open ohms fuses open we will replace the fuse and we have to check the input resistance between the line and the second wire which is passing through fuse fuse second end now we can check this point and the output of the fuse it is 250k 245k this resistance is not good it should be high resistance so we have to verify the smoke area there was a burning so we have to verify that component that is here in the output of the bridge rectifier that is a resistor that is for protection of this DC rail so maybe the DC rail got high voltage so it is damaged so it is 8.5 ohms that is not good because it is connected in the DC rail positive to negative that means it is short circuit now I am removing this resistor now I removed it it have a bad smell
yes it is short circuit it is 9.6 ohm now we will open it and we will check what is the reason so it is damaged it is 241 KD10 241 KD10 now we detected this MOV that it is short circuit it was connected in parallel to this capacitor it was protection for this capacitor and now we can check the second capacitor set continuity now this DC rail is clear now before this it was giving about I think 5 ohms check this DC rail it is 4 ohm so it means here we have also problem either the capacitor or either this MOV so we have to check this capacitor because it is 4 ohms so we have to remove this capacitor and, and we have to check the MOV across this capacitor discharge it set to capacitor it's 445-47 microfarad it is 470 microfarad to 20 volt so that means the capacitor is good we can check the short circuit on this DC rail so we have short circuit it is 4 ohm so in parallel we have this MOV here that is inside so we have to remove that one and we have to check it Yes, this is the problem. This MOV is short circuit. It is for over voltage protection. Yes, it is damaged. And now we can check now there is no short circuit so it was a problem that MOV was making problem now we can check it's clear it's clear now before installing MOV I have to use a jumper wire and I will give 110 volt for safety purpose I will connect this bus fuse wire 1 ampere fusible wire for safety instead of installing a new fuse because fuse have high rating this bus fuse it is a fusible wire with very low current rating that's just only 1 ampere Now I will connect power through this series lamp. And we have output LED. So our power supply is repaired now. Now we have standby voltage. 
that's good 5 volt now I applied 115 volt in the input and now we can check the DC voltage it's 163 volt and on this capacitor 163 volt in the output standby voltage 5.1 volt so we will continue in our next session before turning on I have to replace these MOVs it is 2 for 1 KD10 it is 245 volt maximum because this power supply is 110 volt for protection it is using 245 volt maximum DC voltage around the capacitor if you apply 220 volt so in DC rail it will build 330 volt and the MOV will, will bur burn again and our capacitor is maximum 220 volt so we have to use this 241 KD10 with the same part number I have to search it if I can find in the market I will purchase it or otherwise I have to purchase online or otherwise I have to find in some power supply like that so in our upcoming videos we will install these components and we will study all the circuits in detail what is the circuit configuration and how it is working we will discuss it I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you want to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh